Hey everybody, this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Tony Tough and the Night of the Mo of Roasted Moths. I keep saying one I keep wanting to say Night of the Roasted Moths. Not the name of the game. Not the name of the name game Ku Impact. Oh, my voice. My throat hurts. I know. Sound a little exhausted. Oh, you don't understand. After I did that part, I had to just Oh my god. I just had to chase somebody down. It's not it's not it's not too important now. Everything's been handled, but holy smokes. I understand everything now. Okay. So we were talking to a very sad pirate last time. Maybe we should ask him. Perhaps it would help if you told me something about what happened. Well Blaine why you're depressed know about that. My mother always said, what doesn't kill you is good for you. What? Was she some sort of a philosopher? Maybe. No, but she was an awful cook. What I meant was, it won't do you any harm to tell me about a few episodes from your life at sea. Yeah, oh, no, okay. no, come on, we listened I to the captain you stories, you can tell us what happened. Of course. Bet. You bet. So listen up. It was yeah, cool. A dark and stormy night. That's how they all start, there though. there I was, lying sleepless in my bunk, as the storm raged and the ship rolled. <laughs> just read that second one. I read that second one and I was like, wait, I should click that one. And then I said, wait, no, that's going to end the conversation. Exactly. I've always suffered from insomnia. The next morning I woke with an awful headache. Oh, I don't have insomnia, but I wake up from a shift on watch. Let's go. Oh, I see. Suffering the tortures of an unbearable headache, you lost your balance and precipitated from your post at the top of the mast. By the blowholes of a billion whales, no. It's I a billion to blue whales. Didn't but say the line. He is misreading the lines. Until my sleepless night and the warm afternoon breeze made my eyelids as heavy as two cannonballs. Okay. So you fell asleep, dropped from your post, and broke your leg when you hit the bridge, right? Yeah, well, not quite. Main deck. Well, I was sleeping. Another pirate ship approached us, moving in on the tide so that I couldn't see it at all. We only realized it was there when they opened fire. Ooh, ambushed. I bet you were hit right on the leg by a cannonball, right? Not at all. The cannonball missed the wimpy whale, our ship, by about ten yards. Wow, they're a the shitty shot. And when they boarded us, there were at least four of those crazy Spaniards for every one of our men. Wow, it's the Conquistadors. They've come to destroy you. And in the heat of battle, you were sorely wounded. No, not yet. Ah, oh, come on. Get to the point. How the heck did you break your leg? You won't believe this, but in the end, I had to smash it in myself. What? Zoinks! Zoinks? Just said zoinks. Is that not copyrighted? Hey, hey, hey. Did you ever think of getting a puppy? Maybe a puppy dog will help you. It was the first thing I thought of. And for a couple of months, I kept Miguel, my little leech, stuck to me right here where I have this tattoo now. And then what happened? And Miguel was a leech. I haven't the faintest idea. But one morning, I woke up and found him lying belly up in a pool of blood right next to my bed. I can imagine the scene. And I bet you can also imagine that the whole thing didn't make me feel any better. Well, no, I mean, leech cycling. Hey, you ever have a pet? I guess you've never had another pet since. Probably. Yeah, well, uh, I gave up pets for a whole year after that, but then I decided to try raising a tapeworm in my gut. Oh, that's not a but good idea either. But after a while, it came to the point where it was either me or him, so... Oh, that must have been tough. Oh, God. You're yeah. telling me, especially as I couldn't even let it all out and have a good cry. You remember the movie called The Pet? How could I forget it? It's the big topic of discussion in most of my sessions with my shrink. Oh yeah, you're being There's a consistent lore going on. This guy's a madman. He, he's a he's a lawless madman and oh, I can't do it my voice. Oh, when I tried to raise my voice and just do anything, I destroyed it with that last video. So tell me about your tattoo, so, Mr. Pirate. where'd you get that tattoo? I'm not sure exactly. 
I woke up one morning after passing out in the port of Bilbao, and there it was, on my arm. Wow, oh wow. man, that's... Hockey, even me and Tony Tuck were on the same wavelength, but that's not a good thing. Shows how stupid I am. I'm huh? sorry, but I have to go now. My purple dog, though some call him a taper, could be what? in terrible taper. danger somewhere. What? That's not an alien. That's and a taper. It's quite likely there's what? a maniac alien. This doesn't look like a taper at all, though. City while I'm sitting about in here. Another trunk. A maniac alien? Your purple taper? What are you talking about? Listen here, pal. Whatever it is you're on, take only half a dose next time. <laughs> Even okay? this guy's like you, crazy little gremlin. You little grenoblin. How dare you? All right, bartender, Looks show me what you got. Embarrassingly like a walrus. Well, I mean, I it's a walrus you don't thing. I like walruses either, right? Ah, uh, come on. Let's not talk about walruses. You're the one talking about walry. For fuck's sake, Tony Tough. Excuse me. Do you have a moment? Hey, oh, like alcohol. You there? Didn't you read the sign? I would have liked to, really, but I'm afraid that due to my dioptric failure, I. Sure, that's what they all say. Can't read it from here. My sight is deteriorating so fast that if they offered an award for the person with the fastest deteriorating sight, I'd have to go pick it up with a guide dog. While he was saying that, Kuman Pact was reading the sign. It says, please do not speak to barman. Must be another one of those slobs who work on this human dumping ground. No, it's like the carnies are so freaking stupid here. Let's... No, that would create too many complications for me. I mean, sure. But the keys, man. Big keys. Never heard of anything as dumb as that. What? Well, not since that time at the Chinese restaurant when I ordered... It's a holohedron? No what the well fuck? <laughs> I know Tony was talking about a Chinese restaurant, but I'm listening to the bartender. What the heck are you trying to do? Maybe, well, cop a feel. I, you try just one more time. I say just one more time to reach out your filthy hands in the direction of my rear end, and I swear I'll carve <laughs> my name into the back of your neck with a pickaxe. Oh, this is, a, this is a misunderstanding, no, on, a misunderstanding. Uh, on a Tomoko level to... here. What the hell are we doing? Want... Ow. All right, talk to me then. Well, I want your keys. Can I have keys? Just one minute. It'll be on the table before you can say Hexa Octahedron. Hexa hawk the he drawn uh Excuse me, Mr. Gatekeeper. Yes, please. Don't bother talking to me. I'm just one of the background characters. Uh okay. What? He broke the fourth wall. He, he's so stupid. What the employee of the month. Just another of the union's <sighs> attempts to increase product. Who impact is his voice is so morale. decimated? I wanted to record more of this game though. Get more done. I feel like I'm getting nothing done. Welded to the wall. Oh, I can't take it down because it's glued. Whatever, Tony. We're gonna leave the bar for now. Clearly can't do anything there. You've probably noticed this by now, but there's a big red C painted on this door. That's a C. C is for Captain. Oh, okay. Thanks, Polly. Oh, that's good. Now, whatever was I thinking? All right, all right, all right. Take Using the bird. everything with everything won't get you far in a... Well, no, take the bird. No, I could be tortured for doing that. Okay, talk to Bet the you bird. Want a cracker, don't you? The captain made me stop asking for them. Oh, How did see, he do the that? bird does suck. He made me try one. Ooh. Those crackers are really awful. So, just how do you parrots nurse your young? That's a good question. Why would you ask that? Would you rather Is that offensive? Not I like how he's not talking all of a sudden. I guess you just don't know the answer, right? Come on, say something. Yeah, say something. Like Come what? on. I yeah, talk. Whatever comes to your mind. Ooh, that sounds like a hint. What's your favorite food? What do you like? What's your favorite food? Well, I'd sell my stuffed mother's body for a shrimp canapé. Shrimp canapé? That oh, sounds delicious. Man, that sounds so good. Hey, have you seen Pentagru? Pentagru? No. And have you seen a psychiatrist? Yes. Funny. Very funny. Hey, how about some jokes? I bet you know all kinds of great jokes. Yeah, tell me some jokes. Yeah, listen to that. Oh, hey, a joke. A girl tells her friend. By the way, you know my husband and I have gotten divorced. Okay. And her friend says, 
I can't believe it. You were such a great couple. And the first girl answered, he had some unbearable habits. For instance, he always stirred his tea and coffee with his left hand, even in public. And what's wrong with that, replies the friend. Well, most people use a teaspoon. Ooh. <laughs> oh, screw you, Bert. You're great. Wow, clever. How about another one? Come on, tell me another one. Oh, okay. man, for some reason, Tony Tubbs actually another. likes the jokes. What about says? Guess what? Yesterday, I found a condom on the veranda. Talking about a condom on the veranda. Another girl says, what's a veranda? Boy, what a great sense of humor for a bird. That one was absolutely terrible. Was he talking about lollies? Wait, hold, hold up a second. I bet you Holly, know what the, better what's wrong than that. Well, yes. I, I know you're a pirate bird, but gee. The guy goes into the store and says, I'm looking for a shirt for my brother. Okay. So the salesman says to him, like the one you're wearing? And the guy answers, no, a clean shirt. <laughs> oh. oh, I gotta get the Kung <laughs> stains out. Ugh, too many awesome. Kung stains. Breeze too. How about another one? Tell me another. I wonder if you heard this one. Oh, I bet I haven't. Why did God create blonde? Oh, no. I don't know. Why? Sheep were no good at getting the beer out of the fridge. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't. Can't do that anymore. Whoa. The, the, <laughs> the Let's Play <laughs> itself does not reflect my opinions. Jeez. That was rough. Please, just one more. All right, listen to this. Oh, it's going to get worse. Why did God create brunettes? Oh, he's a um, motherfucker. Because the blondes were no good at getting the beer out of the fridge either. <laughs> Ew, piece of shit. This parrot. This parrot is such Funny, a motherfucker. But true. <laughs> it's so many. Polly. That's a most imaginative name for a parrot. I know. What do you expect from a bunch of illiterate pirates who call a man named Willie with one leg, one legged Willie? Yeah, that makes pirate sense. Everything's literal naming. Left. They're pirates. Hmm. I guess you're right. Imagination isn't one of their strong points. I mean, they're pirates. Better believe it. <laughs> Personal hygiene isn't either. Ugh, they're My pirates. Life, they're gonna be grunge. You know, this bird, problematic. I'm sure, I'm sure as hell people would not like that stuff today. I mean, some of you out there will probably chuckle at it, jokes. But, um, That's and you shouldn't go around idea. saying these kind of things unless people are cool with it. Always remember people's sensibilities. First. So there are gonna be certain circles where that's okay to say. So don't ever be intimidated because now of other outside circles coming in with their freaking pitchforks and torches. I've dealt with that bullshit before myself. I'm gonna go this way. Where where are we now? Rockets, Rufus? Oh, the rocket. We came from there. No particular distinguishing features other than for the crack underneath it and this intriguing sentence carved into the wood. The amount of intelligence on Earth remains constant while the population continues to increase. Was that a quote from like Einstein or something? Now that's so naive, it would be naive to call you naive. What? I just wanted to use it's the door. Closed. Yeah, open it. Open it, Tony. Wow, that is some angry clickball. What the fuck? We mean one dollar. Colossus. Uh, right. A true colossus. Yes. How do we? Out of the question. How do we activate the head? Other I'm afraid than a dollar. you're forgetting that in this universe, mass is the property of a body to resist any modification to its state of inertia. Ah, yes, you can't lift it because it's too big. What are you peeping on? I remember dressing up like that once, when I was little. Alright. Using violence with children is one of the vilest <laughs> things I can think of. Except maybe plywood. Man, he, uh, he's just still talking about the wood! What? These are my kind of favorite jokes when I Tony goes on about the freaking boy. That... What's more, I don't think it's quite legal. Well, then what are we going to do with this boy? He's like in the Excuse way. Excuse me, Sonny. My name's Tony Tuff. And it wasn't me. I didn't do it on purpose, honestly. I swear, I'll never do it again. What are you talking about? I hope He's I gone. I my breath again. Pull in the tent. Boy, moths are bigger than ever these days. Hey, is this the toasted moth? The roasted moths that people are talking about in this thing? Hey, but I have unshakable moral pr I guess. Hmm. I forget it. 
Wow, he was on the other side too? What in the world? Just a bunch of deranged clowns. A few perfectly good cream pies gone to waste. That's about all. Oh, I get it! The kid was watching cream pies! Oh, this game is fucked up. <laughs> so this has been Coimpact with Let's Play Tony Tough and the Night of Roasted Moths. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we're gonna get more offensive, not less offensive. And I can't stop the game from doing it. But we got some stuff to do. These clowns are involved.